Hey, what's up you guys? Good morning. Today we're gonna be doing something pretty wild. Basically, one of our friends made the joke of, hey, you should like do a parody car review on my car. It's just a basic silver Honda Accord. And I was like, you know what, I'll say yes. But instead of doing a parody, me and my girlfriend Alejandra, we had a different plan up our sleeve. We basically went to her work, asked permission to take the car for this car review. We're stealing my best friend's car, not my car. But instead of doing that, we're gonna change the entire car's color right under her nose. Now how we're gonna do this prank is with good old Plasti Dip. This is a gallon of Plasti Dip. You can buy it in aerosol cans or gallons. By spraying it out of a gun, you get a lot more consistency and a much better result. This is electric lime green, so it's gonna be wild compared to the normal silver on her car. So I'm gonna show you step by step how we're gonna do her car, and then we're gonna give it back to her later today. Okay, let's see how it goes. So in case my klutz of a self spills plastic all over the place, I'm gonna put a tarp on the floor and drive the car right on top of it. Wow, it's like opening a road map. Too much folding. See, and just like that, boom. David proof. Special assistant Alejandra coming in hot. Family girl, what you doing? You got dents all over your car. Good grief. At least we'll make it look a little bit prettier. So the most important thing you wanna do before prepping the car for Plasti Dip, if you're doing the entire car, is to clean it. You wanna wipe it down, have no moisture in the car, or the rubber bond isn't gonna bond perfectly. It's gonna be kinda of weird. So you're gonna wanna wipe it down as good as you can and get as much dirt off the car as possible. Normally you'd wanna wash the entire car and get it really dry, but since we don't have that much time, we're basically working until she's off work. I just wiped it down as good as I could. Now we're gonna start masking off the car. You wanna mask off all the windows and also the taillights. Other than that, you're pretty much good because plastic is peelable and with any hard edge, it'll be able to peel, which is perfect. So we're primarily gonna use blue painter's tape along with some trash bags. The trash bag technique is so easy because you can wrap it around the wheels and tires if you don't wanna get your wheels and tires, obviously and that covers up and masks the entire area. The windows and the headlights and taillights are definitely the most important part. So as you can see from Alejandra's quick handiwork, basically you wanna get the entire headlight with all painter's tape. It's much easier that way. And then don't worry too much about these edges because Plasti Dip, with the bond that it creates, you can just peel right around it in case you get a little bit of overspray. It's not too bad. Taking off your license plate is very important because if you have the plate on here and some overspray kind of scatters and moves about right here and it's only dots of Plasti Dip, then it's not gonna be easy to peel off if you just wanna take it right off. So to make sure that this is easily peeled off, we're gonna do a very flat, straight line right here so we're not worried about it. So the grill has very defined edges on it, so it won't be too hard to peel the Plasti Dip off due to these edges. And the emblem, I can just peel right off after it's done. So as you can see, to mask off the window, a lot of the times you want to do all of the window trim, and you can do that meticulously with tape, but a quicker way to do that is to use a big trash bag, cut it in half, and overlay it over the window trim if the window trim is attached to the door itself. Sometimes there's more trim on the actual A-pillar, which is really annoying, but thankfully for the, you okay? <laughs> but thankfully for the day, it's only on the window, so we're gonna keep doing that technique. And we taped up the entire rear, technique! We also did the entire rear window as well. 
One really overlooked part of doing a Plasti Dip car in any shape or form is covering up the exhaust. Take a trash bag and just wrap it. It's super simple and super easy. And then tie it down and then you'll be good just like that. So as you can tell, if you don't use trash bags, you can go to Home Depot or Lowe's and get plastic tarp as well, which makes life a lot easier because it comes with these giant rolls. So you can cut and manage how you want. Right, Santiago? Yes, sir. <laughs> he just showed up to come help us out because he heard we were dipping and it's really cool to see. So before we get to the fun part, you gotta open your gallon of Plasti Dip and you do need to blend the Plasti Dip. It's pigmented, all the pigments are at the bottom, so you gotta kinda bring them up and mix it. Comes with a mixer and you use just a basic drill and you put this in the drill just like that. So we're gonna tighten that down. Okay, that's tight. There it is. So this is the color before it's blended, so we're gonna go ahead and blend it and then we'll show you what it looks like after. Woo! All right, we're all blended up, just like that. It's definitely a brighter color for sure. Kind of hard to tell through camera, but it definitely deepened up the color, made it a little bit brighter, a little more full. So all the pigments are now all the way up and mix perfectly. This is the Plasti Dip sprayer that you can get and it comes with a giant tub to pour the Plasti Dip in. You can adjust how much comes out with this little windy tool and usually most people kind of feel it out by spraying on random pieces of cardboard or the tarp right here to see the pattern. You can shoot it vertically or horizontally, but I'm gonna be doing it vertically. Then after that, you attach the turbine and you want the turbine as far as possible from where you're spraying. Make sure the feed tube is facing forward. Make sure your filter is in there nice and snug. Then once the Plasti Dip is in there at 32 ounces, you're gonna just screw right back on, just like that. And it's gonna go on just like that. I'm gonna fill it up with Plasti Dip before really attaching it, but that's how it works. And then the other end goes to the turbine, easy. So before you start spraying, the last thing you wanna do is get a respirator. Don't spray this stuff without a respirator because then you can breathe it in and that's just bad. You wanna put this on, you wanna have it as snug as possible on your face, that way you don't breathe in basically colored rubber into your lungs because that's just bad news. Okay, so first coat, extremely transparent, unfortunately pretty spotty because the gun started spitting on me because I ran out of Plasti Dip and didn't even realize it. This is my first time ever using a paint slash Plasti Dip gun in my entire life. So it's just with practice, I'm sure, to tell how much is left. So now I have to do the hardest thing about Plasti Dip and that is waiting. 20 minutes in between each coat, we're gonna do four to five coats. So now I wait. I'm going to take down Gotham. Ah.
Okay, dramatic takeoff mask moment so I can breathe some. Uh, so, second coat, definitely not as splotchy as the first one. I think I did it a little bit more even this time, a little bit more solid color, a little less transparency. Still want some transparency, so there's still a little bit of silver left. I missed some spots. Really easy spots to miss are right at the window, because I think subconsciously you don't want to spray at the window because you masked it for so long. But other than that, no, it's another 20 minutes, so. Here we go. How to kill time when you're bored. Oh, <laughs> what happened? Hey dude, it just turned over. It went a little too fast. Oh man. Let me try again. I know you're jealous, Adam LG. <laughs> yeah, I broke it again. So basically what happens sometimes if you let this sit too long, it's kind of a no-brainer, but the Plasti Dip is so good at its job that it'll harden inside the gun. So if you let it sit in between coats, you gotta just kind of clean these little holes out right here because that's where it's ventilating, basically spraying out. We use compressed air out of a compressor, obviously, and then that cleaned it out. Okay, so we've done our five coats of the Electric Lion Green and it is absolutely ridiculous. Has a pretty crazy matte finish. We had a little mishaps here and there and uh, due to a little bit of mistakes of putting too much pressure on the gun and basically going too close. So we spent a lot of time fixing that or trying to fix that. And now we're gonna use Glossifier and make it crazy shiny. It basically, you spray it over the normal Plasti Dip and it gives it a nice, beautiful shine. So this is the Glossifier right here and it's gonna be fun. It's like hard to see. Yeah, you couldn't even do it. Good. Normally, of course, you would use a clean one of these. We cleaned it out as best we could, but we're in a rush right now, so. The car is green, okay. Okay, so now it's time for one of my favorite parts and that's doing the emblems or peeling the emblems. Contours of the edge will do almost all the work for you. We're doing kind of the reverse order. A lot of people plossy up the emblem itself and then peel around it. I'm doing the opposite. So we're gonna take this last border. There you go. Well, after an extremely long day of trial and error, we finally got Emily's car done. We started at five o'clock this morning. The shine of the Glossifier really added some character to the car and it looks a lot better. It was my first rodeo on this. I can do better later, so maybe I'll do another car in the future, but for now, I'm happy that we pulled this off in such a short time frame, honestly. Okay, so Emily's here. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? So ready. Let's do this. Emily, I have a surprise for you. Don't look at me. Keep your eyes closed. Keep going. Hold on. I think it's time to turn around now. I think it's time to turn I'm around. I'm nervous. Come on, dude. I look like a damn highlighter. <laughs> We did all this in one day. I think, no, I can't, I really can't, like, oh my god. It's not perfect, but we did our best. It looks like a green apple, like, yeah. like a green apple. Like, Rufus, are you okay? <laughs> it's okay. Okay, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be okay. So you're not mad? You're not mad at me? No. <laughs> I, I'm enjoying this, cause like, it's green. <laughs> you're at work all day long, just to expect this. <laughs> so you heard it from her and her 
Everything was good. She was a really good sport. Everything worked out for the better. What a freaking day. What a day. We're gonna go get pizza. So yeah. on that note, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Huge thanks to Plasti Dip for suggesting the idea. And also huge thanks to Emily for being such a great sport. On that note, see you guys next time. Take it easy. Have a fantastic day. Bye!